first question is, tell me about the differences between version 1.3 and version 1.4. Now, there are two big differences, and you must know specifically about the stand. I'll hit the first difference, which is just the USB, sorry. The first difference is the DC power supply inside the machine. It's currently 35 watts. That's what was available when we invented this machine. Since then, the company that makes them, they make super high-end uh, sealed power supplies, <clears throat> have gone to 60 watts. That allows us to have the machine making espresso, closing all the valves, and have USB power on all the time, or refilling the water tank all the time. So currently in 1.3, if you run out of water, the machine tablet will change and say refilling, and you can't make espresso while it's refilling. Um, so that's a slight annoyance that goes away in 1.4. To, to talk about the tablet stand, this is the current Steely stand that we've been using for the past three and a half years and has this magnet. And the magnet has a little position. There's a <clears throat> steel plate underneath here that guides it. So you put it in here. And the advantage here is that you can take the tablet off like I'm doing and put it right in the camera or take it around tilted around like this. The disadvantage is someone can steal it or it, conceivably it could get broken. Um, with version 1.4, we're switching to the T1XL tablet stand, but we've modified it slightly. So it's a piece of bent metal like this. The tablet gets glued to it. And so the tablet is permanently attached, but the tablet is permanently attached here as well. The difference is that instead of a magnet to connect it here. There's three screw holes. We're going to give you a Torx T10 screwdriver with it. And so you can screw down the tablet if you like. You can also just put a rubber pad on the bottom of the tablet stand and it will sit quite nicely. So that's the major difference we did on the D1XL stand moving from previous versions to 1.4 is I've lowered the angle so that the tablet stand comes in level with the bottom of the tablet. So what that lets you do, I don't have one here right now, sorry. Uh, what it lets you do though is put the tablet, this is with, imagine I have the one four, on a table like this and it sits really solidly. So the idea with version one four and the tablet is you can, if you want not have the tablet on the machine at all, you can put it aside or you can put the tablet into a drawer. So the group head controller lets you do Everything that you'd want to do to make coffee, it does not let you change presets. So the main reason to use the tablet is to change presets. The other reason is to see how your shop went. Now, what I'm thinking is quite a few people are going to do this. They're going to have the tablet nearby while they make coffee, obviously not in front of their picture rinser. But I think people are going to leave it nearby and then just take a look at the shop, <clears throat> use an external USB charger, put it away if they want to. Certainly the machine is even less tall, more streamlined without the tablet, and some people prefer that look. 